In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get docx editor into your next app. Now this docx editor allows us to create new docx documents uh, or open up existing ones and all happening within our next app in our browser without having Microsoft Office or LibreOffice running on our server. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. You can navigate over to docs.uprice.com. Instead of here, get started, pick the framework. Today, we're just going to be using next.js. And actually, I'm going to use a pre-built sample on GitHub. Once on GitHub, I can go ahead and download the zip. Once it downloads it, I'm going to go ahead and extract it to my uh, downloads folder. So I have it right here, uh, extracted with a 7-zip. And once it's extracted, I can go ahead and open this up with a VS Code. Inside of VS Code, we can pop open our terminal and just install all the necessary dependencies. Once the dependencies are installed, I can go ahead and PM run start to get my application started. Oh, seems like before uh, simply starting, we're going to build it. So we can go ahead and maybe I can actually just launch it in the development mode. So npm run dev, let's see if that works. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so what it did, it actually built it and uh, spun up a local server where we can access it. And if I navigate over to the localhost 3000, when it initializes and loads it, it will go ahead and load up uh, web viewer right here. Now this just goes ahead and opens up a PDF. Uh, we want to get it to the state right here, which is the docx editor. So all I have to do is first double check that I have the right version of the web viewer. And I can see here that uh, it's the version eight. I need the web version 10 for it to properly work. So I can go ahead and switch it over to version 10.0, stop my local server from running, and then just go ahead, um, save this file, patches.json, run npm i, and this will pull in the latest web viewer 10.0. Once it's done, I can go back and run npm run dev. So this will compile and this would pull in the latest web viewer 10.0. And let's go ahead and give it a reload. Still shows us uh, the PDF, but now it is on the latest version of the web viewer. And let's go back here. So here we're kind of pulling in from the components. So let's just go ahead and navigate where our components live. This is the web viewer component. Uh, inside of here, instead of loading a um, specific URL, we're going to go ahead and pass a different option to say enable office editing. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and set it to true. And it goes ahead, rebuilds the app. And as you can see here, it reinitializes it in the docx editor mode. I can go ahead, set the title. and type away in my docx editor. 